Okay. The participants are coming in, all right, which is nice. Yeah, we are on 24. 27 now. Yeah. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Global Education's Virtual Expo for February 2021. This evening, our university partner is the universe, um, Oxford Brooks University. So if I don't know if everyone's aware of what global education does. We are an education agency that represents uni universities abroad. We help the student with the whole application process to the universities. We do your student um, accommodation, your visas, um, uh, airport pickups and drop-offs. We are basically your middleman between the university and yourselves because it is applying to a foreign university where you, got, where you don't know the systems and everything can be a daunting, daunting process. That's why global education is here to assist. We have this evening with us, it's Patrick. He is from, he is a, a university representative from the University of Oxford Brooks and he will be explaining more about the university, campus life, the different programs and so forth. So without further ado, I'm going to hand over to Patrick. Good evening, everyone. Um, thank you for the um, nice introduction. Yes, yeah, nice to keep you brief. And um, so I'm Patrick, I'm the Recruitment Officer for Sub-Saharan Africa. So I look after markets um, in respective countries, uh, so, so Nigeria, Ghana, in West Africa, um, South Africa, Zimbabwe, in Southern Africa, and, and Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, and Rwanda in East Africa. Um, but today is um, focused purely on um, the Southern African market. And I'm here to basically give a um, um, brief overview of the institution and more than happy to take all the questions you'd have um, at the end of this webinar. Um, so I'll share my screen in a minute and I'll turn off my camera so I can present. And please feel free um, to, to type, type in your questions in the chat box. And my lovely colleague is gonna be happy to read them out to me at the end of the webinar. And yeah, we'll, we'll do our best to answer all your questions. And the ones you can answer today, we'll do our best to get back to you um, in the nearest future. Um, so um, sit back and if I bore you so much, um, yeah, please don't sleep off on me. Um, but then I tend to talk a lot. so. Um, yeah, just please don't sleep off of me. That's what I ask. <laughs> but I'll try not to worry so much. Um, but yeah, I'll just start um, and share my screen in a minute. Perfect. Thank you, Patrick. Um, so if everyone can see my screen, give me a thumbs up. Um, then, yeah, I should start presenting in a few minutes. Um, so let me just. Stop my video and um, yeah. Perfect. So, as I said, <coughs> my name is Patrick um, Chukma, I'm the Recruitment Officer of Africa, and I'm, I believe it's my email address. Um, it's Africa at Brooks at the UK. Um, so, a few things we're going to, we're going to cover this evening um, it's about Dr. Brooks, um, the facilities and services available at Dr. Brooks, accommodation options. Sports and societies focus on teaching, faculties and departments, work placements, entry requirements, and scholarships. Um, a quick overview of the university. We're a top modern institution located in the city of Oxford, um, very close proximity to um, um, London for, for students who like the London life. Um, I believe Oxford is your place to be because it's about an hour, um, 10 minutes um, by train and a coach. And, and then we stop right at the Headington campus of the university. Um, recently, we've invested a huge amount of money, over 150 million pounds, um, um, to make the estates look um, more beautiful. Um, so it's, uh, we, we pride ourselves as a modern institution. Therefore, we try to operate the systems and, and the, the buildings and the, and the facilities on campus um, year on year. Um, we're good at sports, um, lots of sports and activities. Um, we engage in Dr. Brooks, and we, we, the, the degrees you offer are career-focused degrees with links to industries and work placements and internships in and around um, the UK and the London area, mostly. A brief history of the university. Um, so it started a school of art in 1865, and um, 
about 1870 became um, the School of Sciences, but added to the School of Arts. And in the 1890s, it became Technical School in Oxford. And by in the 1920s, John Henry became uh, the vice principal. And in the 1970s, it became a polytechnic. And in 1992, it officially became Oxford Tech University. So the image you see at the back is that of the, of the main campus. This is the main um, campus in Headington. Um, this is the global office. This, this is where myself and my colleagues hang out when, when, whenever we're, we're back in Oxford. And for those who are based in the UK, the office is just right um, by the main campus in Headington. And we've got the sports centre um, right at the back of this tiny little office. Um, the convenience store, it's Colonnade, is just right here, right outside the main campus. The health centre is right above that. Um, there's a bank on campus, the bookshop, and then the School of Architecture is just behind this and the business school as well. Um, so over the years, we've tried to um, improve um, services for offer and um, yeah, very interesting place to be. Um, before I go further, I would also mention here that I'm an alum alumni of Oxford Bridge University. I studied um, in Oxford Bridge in um, 2014. I studied my master's in public health and after which I have started working in global office um, for a couple of years now. So it's been an interesting journey so far. And so I know what life is like, um, you know, prior to being a student, so an applicant to being a student and then, um, you know, officially becoming a student at the university and now technically a staff at the university. So it's been a good transition for me and it's been an interesting journey so far. Um, but as I mentioned earlier, Oxford is an hour um, to London and Heathrow. Heathrow is a main airport in the UK. So for those who have been to the UK before, um, um, London Heathrow Airport is a main airport in the UK. You also have Gatwick Airport and Stansted, but mainly students are advised to use Heathrow because it's direct um, access to the, um, to the university. We do have access via Gatwick Airport, but then it's longer hours from Gatwick to the university. We've got two major universities in one city. So it's Oxford University and then Oxford Brooks University. Um, we're not the sister, we're not the, um, uh, the, we're not the pet project to Oxford University. However, we're, we're a major institution on our own, which um, makes it more fun for us. But then it's nice to have um, um, a student city where you have a lot of shared resources. And a student at Oxford Brooks have got access to the Bodleian Library, and which is the Oxford University Library. So that's a lot of resources for students um, to, to, you know, to interface with. Um, and then on the previous slide, um, the video, the, the big image I showed earlier, um, this um, massive building has got four floors of library space. And a basement, um, which is open to students 24 seven. Well, in the conventional world, yes, that's 24 seven, but um, I think it's an issue now. now. Um, a few key facts about the university. Um, we're the only UK university ranked in the top 50 institutions that are still under 50 years old. Um, so if you look at the history I shared earlier, um, we became a university in 1992. However, we've been an institution that's been in existence for over 150 years. Um, so that gives us a very good um, understanding in terms of, of the amount of resources we have um, as an institution and our disposal as well. 17% of our students are international um, from over 140 countries. Um, I know I had friends from South Africa and Zimbabwe um, and Angola and Namibia um, as, as, as classmates and, and pairs when I studied at Oxford Brooks. And it was a really interesting time just having to interface with people from different parts of the world and getting to understand different cultures and different countries and you know just life in, in respective countries as international students. It was really fun. Um, and then five percent of Oxford students are in employment um, after studying. Um, Ninety-four percent of research at Oxford Brooks is internationally recognized, and we're among the twelve um, world's top universities in twelve individual subject area. So it's from the School of Hospitality. To the business school, um, to the medical sciences courses, um, the school of architecture as well. Um, yes, lots and lots of really good top quality courses we offer at Oxford Brookes University. Um, we're number one in the UK um, uh, for young university research, which is a really good fit to achieve. Um, a few facilities you have available on campus are the, the career center, the medical center, the sports center, the books for service, the bookshop bank and then the cafe restaurant and the was I mentioned earlier um, in the image before and then it's still a union. The 
Career Center is one that always advise prospective students to always get involved with, because that's your one-stop shop to, um, uh, you know, getting jobs after school or applying to that internship position that you've been eyeing or you've been admiring for a really long time. They help you to tailor your resume to, to fit into um, the, 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 the particular jobs you want to apply for. And then they also help you with um, uh, um, to apply to those full-time jobs right after school. So it's a really, really, really important resource center. So once you find yourself in Oxford, please, please, please do all you can to make sure you use this resource at your disposal because it's free to use. So you don't have to you know, worry about any extra cost. Um, we've got a medical center on campus. And so for students who need um, medical advice or who need um, medical letters to, for, for mitigating circumstances, this is, is available to students as well. And yeah, as, as a Brooks student, as a full-time student at Brooks, you don't need to pay um, um, after paying your, your health surcharge. You don't need to pay any extra to use the medical facilities on campus. We have a sports center just next to the Chinese student village, which is one of our accommodation options. Um, the sports center is a really nice place. I used to use it all the time because I like to stay fit. Um, and it's always nice to be fit as a student when you've got to study and you need, you need, you need your brain to be you know, um, at optimal capacity. So um, yeah, of course, use the sports center as much as you can. I think it comes at a cost, but not into um, ridiculous. The Brooks Bus Service comes um, 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 with a free pass, and this pass comes to students um, who stay at the university accommodation. Um, this one of the um, added bonuses of, of staying at the university accommodation. The bus pass comes to you for free, and it connects you to all the campuses within Oxford. And so, if your accommodation is far from school, um, or your, your 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 lecture area is far from school, just get the bus timetable and you should be absolutely fine to get to your, your classes around like the, in, in due time. Um, one of the key areas I would always advise international students to take very big advantage of is the student union. Um, so there you can get involved in different uh, um, societies and, and yeah, just body up with, with your fellow pairs, respective countries, you know, for those from your country, those from, um, you know, overseas, get to know and get to share a wonderful experience with them. We have an ISA team and, and the, the, the job they do, very wonderful team, very helpful as well. And they help with um, visas and immigration advice, um, the meet and greet service, the global body scheme, one world week and the culture shop. Um, but we have our colleagues at Global Ed um, who, who can help with um, you know, mainly the visa and immigration advice. Um, so it's always nice to list meet the team at Global Ed and they will always guide you uh, with all you need to know and then the relevant information you need um, to make successful visa applications. And if need be, then we get the ISA team to, to, to get involved um, where necessary. One aspect of, of the ISA team I would always advise international students to take advantage of is the culture shock. Um, so as an international student to find yourself in a, in a foreign country for the first time, there's always that bit of, oh, what am I supposed to do? How do I get along? Um, what am I supposed to do when I get into like a grocery store? Or what am I supposed to do when I get into a cafe? Or what am I supposed to do when I, you know, I meet someone for the first time? Now, they will help you accommodate um, um, that shock um, and then also pair you up with um, people from your respective countries and also those from the international um, 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 student community where you can also learn and absorb the culture shock together um, with your peers. We have a range of accommodation options at Brooks. Um, we've got 10 halls of residences, including, including a dedicated postgraduate hall. And that's purely for postgraduate. And this is at the Clive Wood Student Village. But we'll have a lot and lot beautiful student accommodation options that are really, really nice. Um, as someone who used them, and I still use them whenever I'm back in Oxford, because yeah, they're a lot cheaper. Um, they're really nice. Most of the rooms are in suit. And, and once you pay for your accommodation, it covers um, utilities, internet, and the bus pass I mentioned earlier, which comes at a very discounted rate. Um, so you can use the bus pass even on um, the other bus services that are within the Oxford area. So yeah, for those who can afford it, please I would advise um, to take advantage of this um, accommodation and um, 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 provision provided by the university. I mentioned the Brooks Union earlier. Um, so what it helped to organize is the Freshers' Fair. Um, 
and one world week. Um, they, they also give independent student adv um, service, um, advice students independently. Um, but then again, it's the societies that have got at their disposal. It's a very hundred societies there. Um, so if you're someone who is keen on law, but you're studying business, for instance, there's a law society there. So you can go there to, you know, help with, you know, with seasoned lawyers or students who are studying the law program to get to learn. There's a public health society. Say you're studying um, mechanical engineering, but you want, to, you want to get knowledge of public health. You can at least join the society. And a host and host of them, lots and lots of beautiful societies available at Perks. Take advantage of this as an international student because you're going to learn a lot from them. Um, so as a student at Perks, I started the Public Health Society um, sometime in 2015. And I'm so happy to know that it's still there while since strong six years after. Um, so you can always set up something that you think is going to be tailored and it's going to suit a particular need. Um, it's always advisable to always you know, get involved as an international student. We're keen on sports as well. Um, so we compete in so many sporting events. Um, you know, we're number one in the rain. Um, I'm rain in competition in the UK um, in, in 2017. And as an institution, we've won a host of um, Olympic gold medals. Um, so we've won 13 Olympic medals in the rain since, since the year 2000. Um, uh, so we, comp we compete in the Henley Rare Regatta um, um, competition. Um, um, Engaged in that since 1993, and then we've been winning. As you can see on the chart, um, we we eclipse universities like Harvard and Imperial, and you know London School of Business and Economics. So we're really good at sports, and really, really, really active at sports. So what I would advise students: if you want, if you're keen on sports as well, please feel free to join the sports um, um, and go to the sports center, sign up for sporting the respective sporting events. I used to play football as a student. So please feel free to take advantage of these services at your disposal. Very useful. And so one of the other aspects, because um, it's not just about sports at the university, we're also focused on teaching. Um, and one of the key aspects of teaching our is advice students take advantage of is the academic advisors. They are there to guide you and advise you on areas of your course and areas of teaching that are really relevant to you. And if you're struggling as a student, especially as an international student, please take advantage of academic advisors because they're going to guide you and give you all the best advice you need. And their job is to see you excel. So please take advantage of them. We also have got student support coordinators who are there to support you. Um, so as a student, an international student who is struggling, take advantage of the support coordinators and they'll put you through um, some of the um, um, challenges you're, you're encountering as a student. The work placements and work-based projects we have got at, at the university. So not all the courses have got the work placement yet, but then the courses who have got them, I advise strongly, please take advantage of this. Um, speak to your academic advisor if you have to explore the, the job opportunities available within the Oxford area, even within the UK as well. Um, and then the work-based projects that are there available as well, please take advantage of them um, and for the courses that have got those work-based projects um, till, um, attached to them. You can also use the mentor scheme. Um, you know, the university can help you attach you to a mentor who would guide you. Um, say, you know, and say for those who study courses like um, construction project management, um, you'd, you'd have a mentor who would put you through um, the ropes and the hoops of, of what the course is about and, you know, how to um, survive in the real world after school. We've got the operate service and it's free in, and it helps you to, um, you know, enhance your study skills. Um, most, most, most of the assessment in the university is done via um, essays and and you know written um, papers, so this upgrade skill helps you to put your English together, your tenses, and and also helps you to guide um, when writing like an essay to get excellent grades at them. Use this as much as you can when you're on campus. We've got a free language model. Um, as an international student, when and after you're done with school, the free language model is there. Um, you can pick a language and study for a full semester at no expense to you. So while I finished my master's, I took a course in French. Um, I think the most I can say is um, civil play. Um, but yeah, I'm bonjour. But yeah, I took a course in French, but um, you can only speak a course, any course you think you're interested in, Japanese, Mandarin, Spanish, you know, Latin, um, just pick a course, a language course, and you know, learn it for your full semester at no cost to you at all. I uh, mentioned earlier, we have a 24 um, hours, um, a 24-hour library and e-learning e um, 
of facility on campus is open to you as a student. Just go in there, use it as much as you can. The faculties and departments um, available at Bricks is the Oxford Bricks Business School, which houses the Oxford Business School and um, the Oxford Business School and then the Oxford School of Hospitality and Management. Um, we've got the Faculty of Health and Life Sciences, the houses Department of Biological and Medical Sciences, Department of Psychology, Health and Professional Development, the Department of, of Sports, um, Health Sciences and Social Work, and then the Oxford School of Nursing and Midwifery. Um, the Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences houses School of Education, Department of English and Modern Languages, School of History, Philosophy and Culture, School of Law, Institute of Public Care, and Department of Social Sciences. And the Faculty of Technology, Design and Environment houses School of Architecture, a School of Arts, School of Built Environment, School of Engineering, Computing and Mathematics. So whichever one you're interested in, we've got, we've got all the courses um, available at works, um, besides um, Medicine and Dentistry and Pharmacy. I mentioned work placements and work based projects um, available at Brooks. So the, the visas um, for your course um, covers the duration of your course and work placement as well. Um, the university have tried to um, get as much exclusive placements for Oxford Brooks students. So as a student of Oxford Brooks, you've, you've got um, almost near guarantee to, to placement years, but then I said near guarantee, but not guaranteed. But then if you've got places you want to do your work placement in, all these lady career services learning can help you um, get in touch with them. Um, I mentioned earlier the mentors from industry and experts who are there to always guide. Um, and then there's always a search and apply um, portal, online portal where you can actually apply for jobs um, and even part-time jobs while studying on campus as a visa allows you to work for um, 20 hours per week. Um, but recent places where our students have gone on to work um, um, is Apple, um, BMW Mini, um, F1 Ferrari, for those who are keen Formula One fans like myself, um, this would be really exciting to be able to work in a place like Ferrari F1, because that's like, you know, it's really, really like massive. Um, and Esther Young, um, Four Seasons, Grand Thornton, Mars, Microsoft, PepsiCo, and one of us, and just to mention but a few. Um, so this is for um, undergraduate students, for students who want to get onto the undergraduate and they've got only high school like diplomas and certificates. Um, you need to do a one year foundation program. Um, you can do that independently or you can do the four year foundation and the three combined. Um, but then there's one visa um, that covers that. And yeah, for the application process, as I said earlier, contact the team at Global Ed and they'll be more than happy to guide you and put in, and put in those very good applications for you. And you know, fingers crossed, it comes out very successful. For undergraduate students who um, already have um, the foundation or A levels of BTEC or IB diplomas, you can actually just go straight on to the undergraduate year. And so, depending on the course you're applying to and the respective courses, you've got um, to meet certain grades. So, if it's for the um, A levels, you know, AAB to BB to BCCs, um, um, if it's for BTEC, it's like the DMMs, and if it's for um, the IBC 29 points and above, but yeah, every course has a specific requirement. Um, and if you, if need be, we can always provide that for you if we know the course you want to study. And as I said, the team at Global Ed will be more than happy um, to support and guide you through the application process. And I'm always here, um, just one one email or one call away uh, to rant over, over the phone, as you've noticed. Um, but for, 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 for students who have done the undergraduate year and do not pass it successfully, you, there's always the option to do a pre-master's year for one semester. And then you can always move on to the master's year. So for students who finish the third class in the first degree, um, there's a pre-master's option for one semester, after which you move on to your chosen course, course or graduate course. For students who've gone um, via um, the polytechnics and have HNDs, there's a the two years master's option. It's one visa for two years. For the two years program, after which, if your course has got a work placement here, you can always um, further extend your visa. But if for the pre masters here, you'd normally have to do that for one semester and then go back to the country and go back to your country and, and change your visa to like a full time tier four visa to come back um, to start your master's program in full. Um, but we'll have very interesting courses at the university. So, yeah, feel free to send in your applications once you can. Um, useful information can be found in our international guide, and I'll be more than happy to send um, most of the 
international guys to the at the global level. This is to if and when movement is allowed in the respective countries, please do feel free to send more into the office and you know, grab a copy of the international guides and uh, read as, as much as you can all the information you need to know about Dr. Brooks' product. Um, the, 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 the theme of Dr. Brooks is to say to students to embrace you know, their futures. Um, I embrace my future and I'm very proud of it. I'm a very proud Brooks alumni and I'm more than happy to only tell beautiful stories about Dr. Brooks. Um, I had a fantastic time as an international student um, in the university. And then, um, yeah, just as I said, um, being on this side of the aisle is still also very interesting, but it's always nice to live in the future and, 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 you know, experience life in Oxford as well. Um, one nice um, aspect of Oxford Bruce also is, is, is consideration for international students. And so we've got um, a £2,000 international scholarship available for international students, international students who will start in September 2021. And the one condition you need to meet uh, is, is to make an early application and to meet all the requirements, um, conditions on your offer letter um, before the 15th of April 2021. And you get an automatic £2,000 deducted from your school for your tuition, um, for your tuition fee. So if you, if you tuition fee for your course is, is say, £16,000 and you make an early application, your offers are, are, are all sorted, all the conditions are met. Um, the two thousand pound is immediately deducted, and the tuition fee becomes fourteen thousand, as I guess sixteen thousand. But it's just an example. So different courses um, with the respective tuition fees. A few key updates. Um, so with restrictions um, in respective countries, the university aimed and opened the campus um, in September last year. Um, however, the campus is shut now temporarily um, because of the government's um, restriction of movement um, in the UK, but hopefully that will be lifted in March once um, um, the cases, uh, the COVID cases are, uh, have, have abated a bit. And then with the vaccines rolling out now, um, we're expecting to see at least um, some return to normalcy in the near future. But um, students are advised to study online, but um, if you have to be on campus, because some respective courses have got to be on campus, um, if you have to be on campus, a lot of social um, and distancing measures are put in place, as well as hygiene um, measures. Um, so when and where student, um, um, social distancing allows, students will be back on campus and will be able to use the facilities provided by the university. Um, the accommodation options, um, accommodation service is still available for students to move into. And then of course, with all social distancing and, and COVID protocols put in place as well. And then for students who won't be able to make it on campus, um, maybe restriction of travels from your respective countries, please be rest assured once you've enrolled, even if you have your visa and your passport and you can't travel out of your country yet, do not worry. The university will still provide as much support as you need um, virtually. And, and, and you'd have um, access that you'd be assigned an academic advisor, which I talked about earlier, and he or, he or she will provide all the support you need up until when you arrive um, on campus. Um, so you still have access to the careers, well-being, and library service, all virtually. So still, um, you know, um, exchange, um, desperate times call for desperate measures. And then I think the university has coped well um, in recent time to put at least a few measures in place to accommodate for all of the international students. So to write, um, just heading towards the end, um, sorry if I bored you so much. I was speaking too fast. I'm happy to ask questions afterwards. Um, but a few reasons why you, to, why you could choose Oxford Brooks to study. Um, it's, Oxford Brooks is one of the UK's leading modern universities and attracts nearly 3,000 international students from, you know, 140 countries. That's a lot of international students in one place. But then it's a lot of resources at your disposal. You get to learn, say you come from South Africa, you get to learn about um, life in India from an Indian student. You get to learn about life in China from a Chinese student get to learn about life in the United States from you know, a US um, student. And then the list is endless for the, for this, for the countries you come in contact with um, as an international student. So it's really, really nice. Um, and yeah, one other, um, that's why I said, all this body up once you arrive on campus. Um, Oxford is world famous for its rich history in education and groundbreaking research. It's also only at how from London by train, so it's really close. And I mentioned earlier the access to the airport, 
are really, really accessible um, to the university. And there are stops right in the Headington campus, which is the image you've seen um, I'm, I'm on your own screen. Also, Brooks courses give you the fundamental skills and experience you need to succeed in your chosen career and become internationally employable. Um, I know a lot of my friends um, who studied um, Nigerians like myself, um, who go back in Nigeria doing really excellent things. And so yes, yeah, it's really, really um, a, a, a wonderful institution to study. Um, our international service team, um, advice team, I mentioned, I talked about them earlier. They help to get the visas and immigrations. They also run trips around, um, trips around the UK. So you can see more of the country while you study as a student. So you're really nice. Um, where you can just get to know more about the country you found yourself in, um, irrespective of where you're coming from. Um, and then Oxford Brooks has recently climbed eight places in the 2020 Guardian University Guide um, to be ranked the third out of 121 UK institutions. Um, so it shows as an institution, we've done like a lot in recent time um, to um, come up in the rankings. So in top 50 universities in the UK and it's a feat that we're hoping to maintain and if possible, aim higher. Um, so as you embrace your future at Brooks, just know that the university's goal is to keep you, you know, getting better and then just, you know, going higher, um, um, irrespective of the course you study and just being an Oxford Brooks um, graduate. Um, thank you for listening to me. I hope I wasn't too fast and I hope I wasn't, um, I hope I didn't bore you so much. But then I like to smile a lot, um, yeah, irrespective of the situation right now in the world. Um, so once again, I remain Patrick. And yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Patrick. That was a really good presentation. Um, apologies to everyone if the sound kept fading in and out. Um, it's just internet issues and slow connectivity at this time of the evening. So um, this presentation will be available on Global Education's YouTube channel, as well as you can pop us a email and we will send you the presentation and recording. I'm just going to share my screen two minutes and then we'll jump right into questions. So um, on the screen is Global Education's contact details. You're more than welcome to pop us a mail or call us. We can assist you with any questions you might have about Oxford Brooks University. If the sound wasn't too great and you missed a couple of things from Patrick, please feel free to contact us and we will assist you. Okay, we're gonna jump, Patrick, we're gonna jump straight into questions. We've got quite a few questions coming in. Um, let's start with all the medical science questions. So people are asking, is medicine offered at the at Oxford Brooks? So we don't, we don't offer medicine. Um, we don't offer medicine, dentistry and pharmacy. Um, but then we offer nursing and um, the primary sciences. So for students who want to study medicine and, and they need to get like a, a, a pre-med first, we offer that, but then we do not offer them um, the full-time medicine course. Okay, thank you. That's good to know. Um, another student is asking, is netball available as a sport at Oxford Brooks? Um, as I mentioned earlier, every, every sport is available at Brooks. Um, the sports center have got all sports activities, sports and activities. Um, so as a student, I mentioned, I used to play football and, and yeah, I, I was so lazy as a footballer, but then I made it up to the second team. And so yeah, it's, it's, but the netball and, and all the sporting activities to think of um, are available at Oxford Brooks. Perfect, thank you. So yes, netball is available at Oxford Brooks. Um, we've got another question um, asking, will the South African IEB results be sufficient um, as an entry requirement? Can students apply with the IEB Metric results. Absolutely. Yeah. Once a student has got the IB and undergraduate student, um, so long as you meet the IB um quota for that particular course, you yeah. should be more you should be absolutely fine to get on. Perfect. Okay, then we have a lot of questions asking what are the requirements for that scholarship that you mentioned? Um it's one simple requirement, just contact global ed and make an application. Yeah. 
um, make the early application if possible start tomorrow. Um, so long as you meet all the conditions on your offer before the 15th of April, you automatically get the scholarship applied to you. Um, my colleague who the scholarships will, will send out a letter, but then you need the application to go in. You need to meet the conditions on your offer. Say for instance, you have got a condition to meet, say um, submitting um, your original IB results or an IELTS result. So long as that goes in before the 15th of April and your conditional offer becomes unconditional, automatically you get the 2,000 pound deducted. Perfect, yes. So the IEB results have been pushed back. Um, if I'm not mistaken, you, um, the IEB results will come out in February, mid to the end of February. So that would be a condition. So if, um, if anyone applies now, if you get in your applications from now, you will receive that £2,000 um, scholarship as long as you meet the conditions by the 15th of April. Perfect. Okay. Um, then I think the student is asking the acceptance rate, but we said everyone that um, meets the conditions by the 15th of April will be accepted, will, be, um, will qualify for the scholarship, sorry. Okay, um, then, sorry, there's more here. So a student is asking, what are the requirements for an honors or postgraduate program in psychology? That um, they can contact um, us. Yeah, just could we um, pop global education an email and we can send you the full requirements for a postgrad for um, psychology. Then um, they are asking, will an undergrad undergraduate degree from South Af from a South African university be sufficient to enroll for a postgraduate um, program? One hundred percent, yes. Um, as, as the universities of South Africa are wonderful universities, so the degrees are internationally recognized um and yes i've not i've not encountered a situation where um any undergraduate degree from the region that's the whole of africa has been turned down for any reason so and i know south africa to have very excellent facilities in schools in hospitals and so many other things so um yeah a degree from south africa will be 100 percent accepted um for a for postgraduate course at Oxford. Um, I think the student asking, um, that, yes, that's um, correct, Patrick, but an undergraduate degree in South Africa is a three-year degree. Would they need um, to do a bridging course, a foundation, to enter um, as to do their master's postgrad? Yeah, I think similar to the UK, um, the undergraduate degree is three years in the UK as well. So it's the okay. uh, same. So um, no, so the student has done like the, um, the, the A-levels before getting on the undergraduate program then it, it meets like the complete requirements for um for you know the curriculum so that should be absolutely fine i've, I've not seen a situation where unless the student that hasn't got like the required the, the, the required grades then you'd have to do like a pre-master's course but so long as the grades are, are okay and they're sufficient enough then you you, you get on the course perfect thank you patrick then another um student is asking can they apply with the as levels um, so a student who is in AS levels has to go through the foundation year, unfortunately, because it's not a complete A level. Um, if it was the full A level, then you'd obviously get on with the, was the, the, the grades are, are correct, you'd get on the course. But if it's the AS level, unfortunately, you have to go through the foundation year because it's not complete um, for, for that, for that um, requirement. Perfect. Thank you, Patrick. Then, um, a student's asking with the marks needed to achieve um, the marks needed to study engineering. Again, just pop global education an email and we can send you the requirements for all the engineering courses available at Oxford Brooks. Thank you. Okay. Then there's another question asking, do you offer an art direction course? An art what? An art direction course. I didn't get that. No, I don't. You can pop um, Global Education an email. We can give you um, all the different art-related courses that Oxford Brook does offer and other alternatives to yeah. um, that, avail that offer art degrees. 
And I'll just add here, if, if need be as well, um, yeah, of course, please, because it's, it's less, I'm just one email away. Uh, yeah, to, to and Patrick. Yeah, so. you can, no, you can, you can send global, and the global can just send to me and, or you can send to me and I send back via global. Um, um, what's most important is to have a team um, who are seasoned and who know exactly what they need to do. And uh, they have got all the requisite skills to guide you um, to make a proper um, application and you know a successful visa application. I think that counts for something, and especially when it's an uncharted territory, say all of your knowns, making an application as an international student to a foreign country. Um, feel free, the global advice are wonderful, as you can see. Um, so yes, just get in touch with them. Um, they will be more than happy, extremely more than happy to help. And then, yeah, so yeah, I'm always here to support, but then the global team, I'm sure they even know better, better than myself. I'm just bearing a portfolio, but then I, I'm sure they will know better than myself. Um, yeah, but then get in touch with them and they'll help. Shame, thank you, Patrick. Um, we've just got another question regarding the accommodation. They're asking, what's the estimate cost for accommodation at Oxford Brooks? Um, so it's, it's, it's dependent. Um, so some of the accommodation options are like, uh, I think it ranges from 140, um, 140 pounds, pounds a week to 170, um, depending. So depending on its proximity to the to Headington campus, which is the main campus, just the image behind me. And also um, depending on the fund, the, um, um, the amount of um, utilities available on that particular accommodation option, but then it ranges from 140 pounds to um, 170 pounds. It's also important to know where um, your course will be taught, so that you ensure that your 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 um, you pick an accommodation that is closer to, to, to your classrooms, and so you can always you don't, you don't have to take a bus all the time. You can always just you know take a nice walk and and find yourself on campus. But when it's time for the accommodation options, get in touch with the global team, and then. You know, I'll put them in touch with the accommodation team who will also guide you, and I'm happy to also help where necessary. Perfect, thanks, Patrick. Then another student um, is asking: Is there a postgraduate course in public relations or corporate communications? Um, I think we're going to put we've got a postgraduate course in international relations. Um, We've got a business course with, that has got um, corporate social responsibility as an added cost to it. So um, I think they're both tailored um, to suit public relations as a course, so international relations, and then the business management course is um, the corporate social responsibility aspect of it um, should easily fit into that profile. Perfect, thank you. Then um, our last question for this evening is um, after the um, a student studies at Oxford Brooks, are they offered a work permit when they finish their degree? Um, so as, as is well publicized news now, um, yeah. the UK about the two years um, um, from graduate route, does a post-study work visa. Um, so a student who studied at Oxford Brooks and indeed any UK institution automatically gets the two years um, post-study work visa um, 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 given to him or her um, to further stay in the UK. Um, but then again, while you have got the visa, you, you're also encouraged to apply for jobs within the UK. And to, that's where you take advantage of the career services at Oxford and see how they can guide you mainly to, to make those um, 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 tailored job applications, especially those jobs that you want to do as, a, as an international student and those jobs that fit the, the, the profile you want to build as an individual. So always get in touch with the careers team and we'll be more than happy to, to, to help with um, um, yeah, those, those applications for the jobs. But you get you have the right to stay back in the UK afterwards, um, after studying. And also just to add for courses to have got a work placement year, the work placement year is an, it's an, it's an additional visa. It doesn't count as the two years post study. So you study for one year, you still have got the, 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 the placement year and the visa covers you to study on placement year and to, to stay in the UK on placement year, after which your two years post study starts to count um, so it's a lot of stay back for international students. That wasn't there at my time because I was, I wasn't so lucky, but yeah, I still have a few advantages now, so which is fine. Perfect. Yes, that's the awesome. That new um, work study visa is really good. It's two years after your studies. So once you finish at a UK institution, you're allowed two years to work in the UK. Perfect, Patrick. That seems to be it for this evening. Thank you so much for um, the lovely presentation. 
And yes, I hopefully we can get some applications in for Oxford Brooks. I'm looking forward to receiving them and, and I'm looking forward to, to working, as I said earlier, with the global team and as well as all the applicants who are who are likely going to apply. I hope I didn't bore them so much and then just left off on the screen. But, uh, I hope I was able to send across um, some nice messages about Oxford Brooks. Um, and if if for any reason um, anyone on this call right now still needs to um, ask like particular questions regarding still the life at Oxford Brooks or in Oxford generally in the UK, feel free to get in touch with me. Um, my email address is africabrooks.ac.uk. Feel free to drop me a line. I'm more than more than happy to um, to respond to those emails. And if you still need a call like this, just in case you need to see my face or the next hat I'm going to put on, um, yes, I'm happy to schedule a call and speak um, speak more to you as a student um, or as a prospective student. Um, so yes, feel free. Drop me a line, and when when you need be, um, we get um, the team at Global um, involved um, um, to support when necessary. Perfect. Thank you so much, Patrick. And yes, again, you can always, our contact details are on screen. You can always pop us a mail and we can put you in touch with Patrick. We are here to help you and get all the information needed about Oxford Brooks. Thank you, everyone, for joining and have a good evening. Thank you. Um, thank you um, to the lovely team at Global Ed. And yeah, I think my day's job is wrapped up and yeah, it's time to probably go get some sleep. Yeah. Yes, Sherman. Thanks, Patrick. Goodbye. I'll see, you. I'll see you on the 15th of March. Yes. Perfect. Thanks. Cheers. Bye. Bye.